Hi, my name is Priviesh Nipadiachi. I am the laboratory manager for the Africa Centre Virology Lab. We are very excited to be hosting one of Africa's first world-class genomic centres right here at UKZN's Nelson Ard Mandela School of Medicine. In the next few weeks, we will be showing you the total metamorphosis of the existing space into what we would be liking to host as the genomic centre as well as the bioinformatics office. As you can see, this uh, area has been used as a library previously and has workspaces that have been allocated to the library. We're hoping in the next few weeks to show you the transformation into a fully-fledged bioinformatics office that will support our genomic centre. All of these workspaces to the back of me will be taken out and be replaced by workstations for all of our researchers and our postgraduate students. To this side of me is what was the existing library. It will remain here and will be used as a library for the bioinformatics office. To the back of us is what we'll be using as our meeting room for all of the researchers that will be stationed in this office. And as you enter the doorway behind us, we will still have a reception area with a very nice receptionist who will be here to welcome everybody to the bioinformatics center. Here we find ourselves outside the genomics lab. This facility will be transformed into a fully-fledged genomics lab in the coming weeks. What we're going to do now is get a, a look at what the facility looked like before any of the renovations to the labs have begun. The first room that we're going to look at is what is to be our new extraction room. It previously was a general lab area. If you have a look around, it was just vent spaces together with cupboards that service the technicians that worked in here. We are hoping to transform this into a nucleic acid extraction room with automated nucleic acid facilities for extraction. The second room in our lab that we're hoping to transform is this existing tissue culture facility which will be changed into a PCR pre-prep room for next-gen sequencing. All of the existing hoods in here will be removed, the ultracentrifuge will be removed and the desk space will be changed. What we have here is what's to be our detection room for our next-gen sequencing lab. It's the room that's generated the most amount of excitement because it will be hosting two next-gen sequencing platforms. This part of the facility was previously used for an extraction facility and hosts the MagnaPure LC. We will be moving the MagnaPure into our extraction facility and using this for a dedicated area for our next-gen sequencer. It will be hosting the MySeq platform. Our next-gen facility will also be hosting two Sanger sequences, which we have within our school. Both the Sanger sequences will be located along this wall, and they will be followed by a host of PCR machines and other auxiliary equipment that will be used for next-gen sequencing. On this side of the laboratory, we will have workbenches for students and staff to do their preparations for both the Iron Torrent system as well as the MySeq system. The setup of the new next-gen sequencing facility necessitates additional IT infrastructure as well. It's for this reason that we've decided to transform our existing reagent preparation room into a server laboratory. So we're very excited to start the renovations to the new genomic center. Thank you for joining us in our video diary and we look forward to seeing how this space transforms into a world-class genomic center.